Boys and Girls Club in Bowness. That's where Mike Yanni's hanging out this morning, talking about Canadian Tire's Jump Start program. Apparently, hitting a big milestone, Mike. It is a huge milestone, and I've got to say, I've been kind of standing back, watching these kids. I've been sipping my coffee. They've been doing enough exercise for, I think, all of us this morning as all the parents kind of stand back. Uh, we are at the Boy Boys and Girls Club in Bowness this morning. Jumpstart hits a huge milestone saying, to talk a little bit about that, Dan is joining me from Canadian Tire, who's a big sponsor and supporter of Jumpstart. You guys have been doing Jumpstart for 10 or so years now? Yeah, Canadian Jumpstart is celebrating a great milestone. One million kids help, 10 years anniversary as well. One million yeah. kids you betcha one million kids in 10 years isn't that fantastic and it's it's something that uh, the whole group as a country and as a, a corporation you know just all the employees and all the corporate sponsors and donors and everything putting together a, you know trying to bridge that one and three gap that families can't afford to play sports and you know an organized activity right so and what's going on behind us really is just basically what Jumpstart is all about you getting betcha. physical, getting out there, and you know, get that heart rate going. Don't, don't sit around. You know, get involved with sports. Uh, for those who maybe don't know about Jumpstart, maybe explain the idea, the concept behind it. Well, what we do is we're a, a charity that helps kids between ages four and eighteen. They come from families with low income or have been identified as financially challenged, and we try to bridge that gap to help every kid. We feel all kids deserve a chance to play. We get them into registration. They can get in equipment. They can get a tra or transportation to a program, but they can. Do sports, uh, physical activity. They can do recreation programs, horseback riding, dance, martial arts, hockey, baseball, football, whatever you want. And you were telling me even things like dance. Like it doesn't. No. You don't necessarily need equipment and skates, but yeah. you know, dance is a sport too. And and there's gear that you need for that as well? Yeah, we want to also even talk to people out in the community. If you have programs that just get kids active, you know, we can do orienteering, you can do hiking, you can do biking, you can do dance. If you need equipment for it or transportation to it, we can get you. But if you can just have programs for kids like that, you know, go ahead and contact a Jumpstart representative in your community and we'd love to get kids involved in those kind of opportunities too. Now, not only are we getting kids involved today, but we want to get members of the public and the BT viewers involved as well. Uh, we have a little thing going on social media today. Yeah, you betcha. If you get on hashtag Jumpstart, Jump for Jumpstart. So basically, help us celebrate 1 million children help. Get a big jump up in the air and put yourself, take a picture of yourself. And again, once again, hashtag Jump for Jumpstart. And we'll see if we can get that sort of rolling on uh, Twitter. Hashtag Jump for Jumpstart. I think, um, Ted Jill, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a pose this morning. We'll do some jumping. Maybe I can convince cameraman Nick to jump with the camera this morning. We'll see if we can capture that. And we'll share it with everyone later on this morning. If anyone can, as cameraman Nick. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> He has taken that camera to some strange places. I'm sure he has. <laughs> yeah. We're checking in with Mike Yanni. He's hanging out at the Boys and Girls Club in Bonas this morning. Uh, they're talking about Canadian Tire's Jump Start program, but uh, Helen Upperton is with an Olympic silver medalist, and I know she's very involved in this, Mike. She is very involved. You know what? It is such a good cause, too. Uh, Canadian Tire, a big supporter. Helen Upperton, a big supporter. Olympian. Um, you know what? I, I love this because you set up a drill for the kids because it's all about getting active this morning. And you let the kids pick their names. And so what, what do we have? The yummy, 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 yummy donuts and the red devils. Yes. So <laughs> I think there was supposed to be 10 yummies in there. 10 yummies. Yeah, Maya is the one who picked that out. And she was very specific. 10 yummies and then donuts. Yeah. <laughs> So what do these have behind us? We're doing some soccer drills, actually. Um, I grew up playing soccer. It was one of the many sports I got to try as a kid. And uh, programs like this for me are so amazing. I, sport gave me so much in my life. It teaches you so many lessons that are so good even for education purposes, physical literacy, and you learn leadership and communication and confidence. And I, I just think this program is so great. And a million kids reached. Um, through Jumpstart, it's just like something to be so proud of, right? It's hard to wrap my head around a million mark. Yeah. That's a lot of kids. Yeah. The truth is, though, a lot of families can't afford to play sports or put their kids into sports. Yeah, it's like one in three kids in Canada can't afford to do organized, structured sports, and that's what this program's here for. And these kids are a perfect example. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club's a partner with uh, CT Jumpstart, and. Um, and we get to play games with these kids and get them active and maybe inspire them to find a, a sport that they're really good at or just to stay active. Now you were telling me that if it wasn't the sport, yeah. you might have found yourself somewhere different because in school, and I don't know if I should share this or no, not, but it, you, you were not the strongest student. Yeah, I mean, I, I got good grades, but I think it's a lot in part due to sport. I mean, I, I have a lot of energy. I couldn't sit still in class, couldn't pay attention. and. Sport teaches you that kind of discipline and let me burn off a lot of that extra energy, right? Exactly. So, so speaking of energy, I think that you and I are going to have a little next competition in line? here. We're next in line. Okay, let's get in there. Oh, 
Okay. So we're gonna let the kids bring us back. I'm so next, okay? We gotta Can go I go? around the hula hoop yeah. in between the pylons. And we start. Okay. Ready? Ready? And go! Here we go. Hold. All right, cheer them on, guys. Cheer them on. In the hoop. Okay. Good job. Yeah, good, good job. job. Good job. Today, your entire jump start is it's all about this morning getting active. We're going to be having some more fun with the kids in Helm later on this morning, you guys. Helen, a little bit more nimble than Mike Yanni. A little bit. Just a bit. Kind of world class silver medalist nimble versus. Non. Versus tech expert. Versus gadget guy. <laughs> and back on out to our Mike Yanni this morning, who is with some very happy, very active kids, and one who has a superpower that is <laughs> unexpected. Mike? Yeah, you know, I have to introduce you to Maya here. Maya, how old are you? Seven. Seven. And I want you to give a wave to Ted and Jill there, and I also want you to show us your muscles. Okay, and, and show us your muscles. Yeah. Now, because you, you, lift weights you told me yeah how, okay you just won a competition you got first place now tell ted and jill how much weight you lifted you deadlifted this 88 pounds 88, 88 pounds it's like that's like two of you 88 pounds yeah that's pretty impressive She's don't you guys think me, 88 Mike. pounds i know that's, that's some serious bulk you got there 88 pounds awesome good job and you you know you're very you're into physical activity here you've been busy running out there this morning and you lift weights uh, a lot of other kids here do other sports a bell here you also are really good at a couple sports basketball but also soccer and what's your accomplish, accomplishment in soccer um i have 10 medals in soccer 10 medals in soccer that's yeah. awesome you, obviously you must like soccer Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. All the kids are having fun here. Take a look at this. If anyone can pull this off, it's Helen Upperton. She figured out how to do bobsleigh indoors, four-person bobsleigh. Oh, went off the track there. Uh, <laughs> so the kids here at the Boys and Girls Club in Bowness, uh, very excited to be here, getting active. Lisa, you're with the Boys and Girls Club here. Um, Jumpstart for the kids. The, the program has been really important for you guys here. It has, yeah. So I, obviously, um, one in three um, families can't afford to have their kids involved in competitive sports, and Jumpstart really levels the playing field and allows for them to be a part of that, and our families definitely have access to that. And then they also give funding to the clubs here in Calgary, and our club in particular has received funding from them, which enables us to offer sporting for the kids here. Yeah, what kind of things can you do with that funding that you received through Jumpstart? Um, we can obviously buy a lot of the equipment. So um, equipment like pylons, pennies, balls, baskets, nets, that kind of stuff. So we can actually play the games with the kids. It provides for that. And, so. and of course the scooters so they can bobsleigh indoors. Exactly, because <laughs> this is clearly a high level sport. So. <laughs> now, I want to I run and chat with Helen here because she's the mastermind behind the obstacle course here. So Helen, I love this. I love this, the fact that you figured out how to do it. You said, I'm going to pull this off, and the kids are going to have a good time. And they are. Look at this. They're all laughing, smiling. You always got to try something new. They've never done bobsleigh. I had never done bobsleigh the first time I tried it, so <laughs> we're doing four-man bobsleigh in the gym. And I think sometimes when you get the kids involved in things like this, they forget that this is physical activity. Yeah. It's just fun for them. Yeah, that's the point of physical literacy, to teach you skills, communication, teamwork, without you knowing that you're being taught something. Well, there you go. So indoor bobsleigh. Who knows where we're going to take the morning yet? Uh, maybe Helen has some other crazy ideas up her sleeve. We'll have to see. Ted, Jill? They need another half an hour of energy, at least for us. And more sugar. More sugar. Helen's so great. Yeah, she is. That looks like a lot of fun. 8.52, we're checking in with Mike Yanni one final time this morning. Is at the Boys and Girls Club in Bowness, hanging out with Helen Upperton, talking about Canadian Tire's Jumpstart program. You bet. We went from bobsleighing now into basketball. Man, they do so many different things here at the Boys and Girls Club here in Bowness. And one of the people behind all the activities here is Pete. Pete, you spend a lot of time with these kids. Yeah, I'm, I'm him every single day with these kids. So, uh, I'm Before school, after school? It's, it's after school. Not normally this early in the morning, <laughs> but uh, it's fun, fun being here. Yeah, after school, and then we do some evening programs as well with uh, kids that want to, yeah. So you would see a big difference in what sport and physical activity does for these kids? Absolutely, a huge difference. Just 
um, getting them literate with being able to do simple ball skills and sp uh, skills that will benefit them later in life, able to be active later in life. And of course, uh, Lisa was saying earlier that uh, the Boys and Girls Club benefiting from the Jumpstart program in Canadian Tire. Oh, it's huge for us, you know, being able to have all this equipment, uh, all these opportunities for these kids is, is just great. They, um, they absolutely love coming here and, uh, and playing games and like they're doing right now. It shows. It shows the smiles on their faces, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. So we have some other kids standing by over here. Uh, we're going to have a little race. So Helen Upperton and I, I think we're going to have a little cart race. And I will say Helen is the queen of smack talk. <laughs> you, you can take uh, a bobsledder out of the competition, but you can't take the competition out of the bobsledder. There you go. So we've got some kids hanging by. And your name? Josiah. Okay, Josiah, you're going to be pushing, right? Or pull, oh, we're pulling. We're going to pull. We're having a pusher and a puller. Pusher and a puller. Okay, so, and who do we have here? Dee Dee. Dee Dee and... Hello. All right, okay, so. Let's see if I can get on the scooter. I don't know if I can cross my legs, but like you. Flexibility is okay. essential. So, the idea is just to... Get to the end as fast as we can. Get to the end as fast as we can. Okay. You guys ready? I'm Are going you to put ready? the uh, mic in my lap here. I hope so. Hands on my shoulders. Okay. Let's go, three. team. Yeah. One, two, three. Go. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Yay. Nice. Good job, Good job guys. you guys. That was great. Great work, team. Good, Good job, job, team. Guys. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Now remember. Hashtag jump for jump start. Jump for jump start. There you go. Take a photo of yourself. And actually, we have a picture, of Jill Ted, that we took, cameraman Nick, Helen, and I earlier. Uh, so that's all you have to do is take a picture of you jumping. And look, even cameraman Nick getting some air, even with that camera on his shoulder. <laughs> Hashtag jump start. There you go. Jump for jump start. So make sure you support the program. It's amazing. And thanks for Kane Tire and the Boys and Girls Club here in Bowness for helping us this morning. See you guys later. A great program and great, great vertical. Picture from all three of them. Yeah, cameraman <laughs> Nick. Those cameras aren't light. No, they're not. Good for him. Hashtag jump for jumpstart is how you can get in on the trend. We're gonna tee up tomorrow's show for you after the break, 8.55. You're watching Breakfast Television on City.